Webheads, comic book fans, this is 2022's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. This is week 35, and this is for new comics being released on August 31st, 2022. Before we get started, guys, here's a quick shout-out for MutantBeaverComics.com. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader specializing in exclusive variants with over 900 exclusives in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis. Their mandate is to offer the widest selection of exclusive variants on the planet along with top-notch customer service. If you guys enter promo code CORNER10, and not only can you save 10% on your first purchase, but every other purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives. MutantBeaverComics.com So happy Monday to you, webheads. Welcome back. That's right, guys. This is the video series where each and every week you get to vote on your favorite comic book cover of the week. This is a year-long series. We do have final rounds. So by the time we get to the end, you will have that final say on which comic book cover gets the all-important title of comic book cover of the year. So let's get started with some unfinished business we got to find out who won week 34. And week 34 was a landslide of a win. And it wound up going to Gwenverse issue 5. That Shannon Mayer variant of a Gwenverine. That's right, guys. You will love that one where she was tearing through the pages with her claws. It was a gorgeous cover. So congratulations. It moves on to the next round. Let's get started with this week's countdown. Kicking it off. With number 10, and number 10 goes to Amazing Fantasy Issue 1000, J. Scott Campbell variant. I have a soft spot for the man. I have followed his artwork for years. It's always very gorgeous. His Spider-Man tends to be a little bit more slender uh, than some other artists that draw Spider-Man. It's pretty cool, though. I love his dynamic pose. I love the logo on the cover as well, as it says Amazing Fantasy starring Spider-Man on there and you get to see the buildings in the background probably not his best work but I still like it and I like how lately he's been doing some male covers as well instead of all the female covers so if this one is your favorite let's make sure you vote in the comment section below remember guys no more than one vote per person and if you want your vote to count you gotta write it in the comment section and yeah if you have your own favorite cover of the week you can write it in it could start to trend and overtake the other 10 because I tend to miss some of you guys see others that I don't. So moving on to number nine now, we have the Joneses, issue five. This is John Gallagher main cover. This is pretty good. I don't read this title, but I looked at this cover and I'm like, oh my God, whoever this dude is, he's getting his jaw just pounded and you get to see the teeth flying out of his mouth and you get to see the blood squirting everywhere and it looks like he's getting beat up by some like rock creature i mean he's gonna be feeling it when he wakes up in the morning right coming in at number eight man this is a creepy cover this one goes to the sandman universe nightmare country issue five covers c incentive one in 25 sam wolfie Connolly cardstock variant my gosh, that took forever to say that. This is just weird. I It's just like kind of horrific. Yeah, this is something that you would see in your dream, correct? I mean, you got the dude sticking out his tongue. He's using his hands as eyes and like they become mouths and they open up. That's just creepy, man. Coming in at number seven, we have X-Med issue 14, the Dodderman trading card variant. I like these trading card variant covers. They look really nice. A lot of you guys out there are magic fans, and I can tell you that this is the only girl cover this week on the countdown, so you'll be surprised with this one. But this one is cool with magic coming through her portal. She's holding her sword. She's got this gold costume on. I loved it. I love the detail of it. Coming in at number six, we have Thunderbolts issue one, the Casilli trading card variant. So it's another one here kicking off Thunderbolts issue one, but this has Clinton Barton on there. I like the point of view of this particular comic book. Uh, you get to see a low point of view with Clint Barton 
maybe on top of you. Maybe he is the one that took you out and he's like, hey, if you move or do something wrong, I'm going to shoot you. I don't know, but I love the cityscape in the background. I like the Thunderbolts logo. Again, the detail of the character is absolutely awesome. I can't wait for this comic to come out as well. Next, coming in at number five, we have Power Rangers Unlimited, the Death Ranger issue one, cover D, one in 25, Derek Chu variant. I am not a Power Rangers fan, but when I saw this cover, I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty awesome. The Death Ranger, right? And check out his suit. It's like all gold and black like, and he's got like this, oh, it's almost like a diamond like on his chest, but look at his face like look at his jawline it looks like there's a skeleton underneath that mask dude that's just creepy right a fantastic looking cover coming in at number four gi joe fans you're gonna like this one i got gi joe a real american hero issue 297 cover ri one in ten incentive john royal variant maybe i should say join john royal variant uh, this is pretty cool. I don't know who this character is. I'm a longtime G.I. Joe fan, but I don't know who the guy is with that has boxing gloves and this helmet that he's wearing to bust through concrete. But what I liked about it was the detail that kind of goes into the concrete exploding all over the place. You got that traditional explosion background that you got to see on like the action figure cards, right? And then what I liked about this character too is like his boxing gloves, how they have the Cobra logo on it. And then this guy's got a badass Cobra uh, tattoo on his bicep, right? So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I was like, man, I want to know who this guy is. Like, I almost want to buy this comic just to find out who this dude is. So now we're in the top three, and a lot of you guys have been telling me to get this comic, but I never seem to see it at my shop. This is Frank Verzetta's Death Dealer issue four, cover D, one in 10. I think this one is done by David Finch. I'm not 100% sure, but this is an absolutely awesome character. I mean, look at how menacing he looks, right? He's got this armor, he's got this axe, we got this like smoke or explosion in the background. I just, everything around him, just exactly what the title says, right? It's Death Dealer. It's like, don't mess with this guy or he's gonna kick your ass. So if this one is your favorite, you guys know what to do. You gotta vote in the comment section below. Coming in at number two, this is a pretty nice looking Moon Knight cover. One of the better ones as of late. This is Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. This is issue four. I love the realism of this cover. Um, shoot, I forgot to put who actually did this cover. Not 100% sure, so I apologize about that one. But the detail that goes into this cover is absolutely amazing. Look at the cape. Look at the cloak. Just the glowing eyes. He's holding his weapon. Uh, just everything about this is so exquisite. To put those little minute details in Moon Knight's suit is absolutely amazing. This is something that reminds me of like the show. But my favorite comic book cover of the week goes to a book that, yes, is coming out again this week. This goes to Super. Superman World World Apocalypse Issue 1, the Steve Beach main cover. This cover is awesome. This screams like a movie poster from like the 80s. Like, you know, when you would see Conan the Barbarian or some some something that, I don't know, that that's what that reminds you of. So I really love this cover as you get to see Superman just with a cape and you get to see his shield that's strapped on. He's got like this robotic arm. You can tell he's been through a lot, but I love the way this looks, man. This is such an awesome cover and this is a main cover too. It's not every day where you see all these main covers that look really nice, but this one is a standout this week and this was my favorite. Is it yours? So there you guys have it. There are my favorite comic book covers of the week. Now I wanna know in the comments below, which one is your favorite? Because remember, of course, every vote counts, guys. And as always, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here. In fact, this is my video series called Worst to the First, where I talk about every single comic that I read for the week. So until next time, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon, bye.